This video is about normal mapping technique principle. Normal mapping is the lighting model that's often used in computer games to make the graphics more realistic and detailed. Normal mapping is a fast technique that gives any surface a feel of relief and this is a pleasure for any gamer. On the video you can see surfaces with and without normal mapping technique. But what's the difference between these two different fragments? And why do we see the more detailed relief on the second one? That's easy. On the second one we can see shadows that can change their position when the light moves. The first fragment doesn't have shadows of the micro relief, so we need to create shadows. On the black and white abstractions you can see that you don't need any color information to fill a relief, but only calculates the brightness of the pixel. So let's discuss how to do it. Let's suppose that the brightness of the pixel is a number between 0 and 1. 0 for a black pixel and 1 for a white pixel, 0.5 for gray and so on. Imagine that a vector in a space with coordinates x, y and z can be represented as a pixel with the red, green and blue components accordingly. The pixel brightness is the result of scalar multiplication between the vector of surface normal and the vector that points from pixel to the light. Let's have a look. This is a vector field of normals to the flat surface of a monitor. This is a blue surface because our vector of normal is just a z-axis vector, so each pixel is blue. Now, let's visualize a vector field where each vector starts as a pixel and look at the light source. Let's take a look on the result of scalar multiplication of the normal vector and the light direction vector. Whoa! It looks like a real light! But what would be if instead of just blue field of normal vectors we'll use pre-calculated normal vectors that we put into an image? Let's take a look on scalar multiplication between our vector field of pseudo-normals and direction to the light. <laughs> Whoa! It looks like a real surface with real light! It's the desired result! Let's add a color. We multiply RGB vector of color we read from a texture file on our brightness value. That's how actually a normal mapping technique works. All computer graphics effects visualization you can see here are done in real time on my Android phone. I just recorded it. The source code you can find in the link below the video. The source code contains the source code of all shaders and textures I used to make this video. Thank you for watching!